Hello Sagittarius, this is your November 2018 reading, or I should say starting November 2018. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals, so please keep that in mind. Maybe these energies will pick up from the last reading, or I may get a totally different energy. We shall see. But this is for Sagittarius, starting November 2018, full Celtic cross. Sagittarius, November 2018, full Celtic cross. See what the beginning energies are? I do concentrate on your sign and shuffle the, um, these cards prior. Let's see what the beginning injuries are. Hopefully they're positive. Beginning energy, worry. Sagittarius feels worried, left out, abandoned, or just not knowing what to do. It's more like a worry card. Just, you know, not knowing what to do. Oh my gosh, you know. And it's 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 got it you in your head. It's got you emotional, possibly. Or people around you are emotional and feeling left out. This could be uh a cross watcher feeling this way, worried. We shall see. What we got here is the prince, Princess of Swords. She's in the upright. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or someone taking on an energy. They are in the upright. What is crossing this person? Prince, princess of Wands, possibly a fire sign, or someone taking on an energy. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I will clarify these in just a second. Your goal, sneaky behavior. Maybe you're trying to get by with something or somebody else is. Somebody is trying to sneak off possibly and get away from a certain situation or they, you get, there could be actual theft involved. Or it could be also somebody may be watching you from a distance and they're not letting you know or you're doing that to another person. Foundation, the strife card in reverse, uh, not wanting to battle, not wanting to compete, not wanting to um, put yourself out there right now. In the past, completion, something completed. It, with this is in the upright. It shows that you did have happiness at one time and thought things were solid and completed. But I got to uh, clarify to know what that's about. In the near future, you'll be working and collaborating with somebody, more than one person usually. We'll put four more out. This is a distant future and what's coming towards you, but I want to clarify the near future first. So let's find out Sagittarius, Princess of Swords, Princess of Wands crossing it. Why are you there for Sagittarius in November 2018? Just tells me there are people there. Uh, someone does, is not willing to wait. They're tired of suffering and waiting around, hanging around. Can I get another card for the Princess of Swords? Princess of Wands and the Hangman in reverse. Yeah, it's like things are stagnant. They're not moving very much. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you had some bad luck with these individuals because the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. A little bad luck. Now, the goal, you got the Seven of Swords. Just tells me there's some underlying behavior you don't want someone to see, possibly. Maybe you're just trying to um, fly under the radar and just not be noticed also. I see that a lot. Seven of Swords. In the upright, why are you the goal for Sagittarius? Money has to do with finances. Maybe you're keeping your finances under wrap. You don't want people to know that you have it or that you're having gain in your life. Maybe you're just keeping it to yourself right now or, or your intentions are in the future. Your goal is to keep your, your money to yourself. Can I get another card with the Seven of Swords? It could be that you're afraid of theft. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to possibly... I don't, I'm not going to say you're not going to take a new beginning, but I don't I don't see you leaping into just anything. I think you're going to be more careful with the Fool card in reverse because of what's attached to it. As someone being very careful with their finances, because maybe you had something taken from you before and you're just going to not put yourself out there. Now, as the foundation, you got the, uh, the Strife card. It is in reverse. Why are you there, Strife card in reverse? Why are you there? As the foundation it means you're not battling yeah but you're not 
it's like you kind of lost your mojo, your motivation. You're thinking, I had some bad luck with the wheel of fortune. I'm tired of just hanging around and being stagnant and waiting for things that aren't coming in. Because here it's showing the same thing. It's like you have no motivation. There's nothing out there you feel that's for you. You don't see th good things coming into yourself. That's the foundation. You feel stuck. Now in the past you had the completion card. It's the Four of Wands. It's a great card. It's in the past. I'm going to find out more about it. Four of Wands. Why are you there for Sagittarius in the past? Completing a cycle that made you satisfied in the past, but you were suffering from heartbreak and sorrow also, but it's you're, you're getting over it. The Three of Swords. Can I get another card for the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords from the past? Just tell me a completion occurred. You're better than what you were. Yeah, you were you you had heartbreak. You were sorrowful. But I think I believe that you are coming out of it, even though you're feeling like, oh, nothing but bad luck in the past, and I feel like there was no bad luck, and I'm not gonna let someone take advantage of me again. I'm not willing to fight and battle. I lost my confidence here. And this could be reverse, could be that someone feels this way themselves and you're involved. But in the past, you're you you come to full circle of what you want in happiness because you did have heartbreak and you're coming out of the hermit mood of just thinking. Near future, you got the Three of Pentacles. It's a good card. It's in the upright. It's collaboration, working together, and getting things done the way you want to. Working together. It's more than one person. Three of Pentacles, why are you there? In the near future for Sagittarius, getting things done. Hope, having hope. You're hopeful because the situation is starting to work out in the near future the way you want. Could have to do with finances. And putting things to rest. Ending things that didn't work out and looking for hope because these are why cards. You're going with a collaboration. You're going to work with something that you like, that you thought, that you think is going to bring you hope because something possibly did not work out in the past. You may be cutting out things that didn't work out in the past and putting them behind you. Now, in the near, it, this is no, um, this is the possible future outcome in the advice card. The magician in reverse. Watch out for manipulation, lies, and deceit. Someone trying to manipulate the situation. I gotta meet. I gotta have another card to find out. The advice could be: <clears throat> stay away from manipulators. Don't trust so much because that's the trickster card. Uh, it could be the outcome. You may get tricked, but we're gonna find out. Maybe just the advice is like: be watch yourself. Watch. Don't trust everybody that that comes around you, especially if you're working with them. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but the magician in reverse. Why are you there? disappointment yeah don't be dealing with the manipulator someone that manipulates because if you don't you're just going to have disappointment something that that would be kind of hard to deal with let me get another card yeah because you may you may just turn away an opportunity of a trickster you got something good coming and you may end something that could have a lot to do with that magician. Because you know you're going to just have disappointment. You're not going to take that disappointment on. You may turn them away. I really have a lot to do with more than just emotions. I think it has to do with finances too. I don't know why. But for some of you, not all of you. What is coming towards you, Sagittarius? The Empress in Reverse. Now... This is usually like the mother card, the blessings of motherhood, or uh, just a nurturing type card. It's in reverse. So someone's not want, is not wanting good tidings to you for you. I, I need another card though. I don't know if it's a person or just an energy. The Empress, why are you there in reverse for Sagittarius? It 
It's the Eight of Swords, so I'm wanting to come out of feeling trapped. Need another card. The Empress, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Why are you there? Queen of Disc. Okay, the Queen of Disc may not be real happy. Whoever she is towards you. This could be an Earth element, someone taking on an energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They're not feeling real motherly and friendly towards you right now. I do not know who they are. I can leave it in the comments. They want to come out of feeling trapped at the same time. So they may voice this to you, whoever this person is. And like I said, it doesn't have to be an Earth element, just someone taking on an energy. They are in the upright, but they feel that something unfair has been done to them. They were feeling trapped, and they're wanting to come out of feeling trapped, and they're not feeling really hospitable right now. But they are coming towards you. Your hopes and fears, you won't get your happily ever after. You're afraid you won't get your happily ever after with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Sagittarius? Ten of Cups, why are you there? Communications. Afraid of communications going back and forth, could be travel. You're afraid things won't uh, go forward quick enough and get your happily ever after. You're, I'm thinking you're afraid you may have to wait a little bit. Yeah, things are just going too slow. You also may be afraid of uh, health issues for some of you. Not all of you, just a few. You're afraid maybe you couldn't handle the stress. But you also, like I said, are afraid that you won't get your happily ever after. These are in your, your mind. These are mental uh, anguish type situation, what you're feeling. Now, the outcome, the outcome. So you're feeling like nothing has worked out in November. You're feeling like you're stuck, like so, things aren't moving forward. you got the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone contemplating, what do I do now? So you're still working on something. You're, you're, you're still lacking desire. Sagittarius, you're going to have to um, try to let that go and go with this energy of the work energy. I understand you're not trusting right now and you're flying under the radar and you feel like some of you may be wanting a little bit of revenge too for something that happened. So be careful of that because there is karma. I'm not saying you're not right or wrong, okay? I'm just saying that um, it could it could. I don't know, reverse things for you if you're not careful. Could go against you. So you got the uh, Seven of uh, Pentacles and you got the Lust card in reverse. You're feeling depressed. Something meant that you're feeling like your luck is, you lost all your luck. And you got something that you need to work towards. And it could be, it could bring hope, but you are going to have to leave something behind and take it away from you and it could have that you something got stolen from you and taken advantage of or like I said some of you could have done this to somebody else and in the end you're going to be thinking about how can I get through this and how you can get through this is not no manipulation don't let manipulation in your life turn away the heartbreak and this also can mean don't miss an opportunity because you do have a work situation coming in so take advantage of that for real Look towards hope and put all this behind you if you if you can. I need another card for the Seven of Pentacles and the Lust card in reverse. Why are you there? Again, the Seven of Swords. You're afraid someone may take advantage, take something from you, or you be the one, like I said, doing this. If you keep your eye on the goal, this goal right here, the, the near future, and keep on working and let this stuff go. You could possibly put this behind you, but you, you got a manipulation, you got sneaky behavior. Someone is taken from somebody, and in the end, you may be feeling that past pain, whatever happened, that bad luck you thought that happened. The last card. Ending energy is the universe in reverse. It's not moving forward because you got to cut it out. You got to cut out whatever is bothering you. If you can do this, if you can cut this out, you could possibly change the outcome. And I will read for you again. 
the middle of November. And we see what we, can, what we can do. But watch out for sneaky people. Don't be the sneaky person. Watch out for the manipulator, like I said, and cut that cut that garbage out. Cut it, cut it out of your life, whatever it is. I think it has a lot to do with finances also, not just people. Could be with some of you a third party, because you do have the three swords in reverse, but it's in the past. So it's up to you. This is actually something you can change because it's all about you. You could sit there and cut out situations, like I said, in your life so you can have hope and work. But if you're going to hang on to this certain situation, it's going to lag on to November. But I'm giving it at least for the first couple weeks. And I'll be giving another reading for the middle of November. Like I said, keep on working. And let's see if that energy changes. And I'll talk to you later there, Sag. And hopefully things work out. Bye.